already know why you clicked on the video, man, because that jump shot that you had the other day is just like the Twitter check mark. It just don't hit the same. You got it, but it just ain't hitting the same, man. Look, man, hey, all I want to tell y'all is I've been in the lab because my jump shot hasn't been hitting the same either, and I have found something that's working for me, man. Look, this joint here is not only good, it's got the same type of tail, but it's cash. And it goes for people with lower jump shots because y'all been asking me uh, for the jump shots for people with lower ratings and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that for y'all. But what I need y'all to do for me before I give y'all this, man, before we get started, make sure you like the video. Bro, that's what I get all the time. Before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment new down below, somewhere down below, man. Look, this is going to do two things for y'all. Number one, we're going to give away, if we can average 8K views on every video, man, we're going to be giving away a next-gen console, $500 or a laptop on at the end of the month if we just average 8k views so like the video and comment new somewhere in your comment section uh also every single friday we give away 50 dollars in cash app or vc or we get i buy you a video game of your choice man make sure y'all busy yourself down in the comment section like the video and comment new down there number three the bots keep trying to come back i'm not putting my I'm not putting my um, phone number down there and I don't have Telegram. Please ignore anything like that. I'm banning them as they come in, but I'm not putting my phone number down there. I don't have Telegram. All I got is Instagram, Twitter, and Black Planet. And with all that out of the way, man, like I said, let's just get right back into it, man. This jump shot, like all the jump shots that I make, the Q is going to be right there when it gets to his forehead. You just let it go, man. But this one is a little bit smoother. Like, I've been using James Harden uh, most of the time. But with, but with this one right here, it's just a little bit smoother and it's a little bit more predictable when you catch it. Like, I obviously cannot demonstrate to you guys uh, catch and shoot and stuff like that. But when I'm shooting off the dribble and all of that, it actually feels really good, man. And uh, my biggest issue is when I catch it up here at the top, right? When I'm playing with Brute Dam, I catch it up at the top. It's hard for me to see it with that James Harden because it's like a slow wind up and it's a quick release. This one is like... You see what I'm saying? It's like, it's it's very consistent, very smooth, man. So if y'all are looking for a new jump shot, this is most likely the jump shot for y'all. Now, y'all hadn't, I don't think I missed, I think I missed like one of those shots, right? The whole time. The thing about this jump shot that's gonna surprise you is this. Like I said, man, this, this is one of them joints, bro. You gotta forget every single thing you know about the jump shots and all of that good stuff. We got good stats everywhere. We got A plus speed. We got uh, the height is B is B, man. You can probably like you can blend it down, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to blend it down here in a second. So you come over here and blend it down, and it'll you can take the height down a little bit, and what that'll do is you see what I'm saying? It'll make it be in front of his head a little bit more. Um, you know, even if you some people like a B minus on there. So we're gonna shoot this joint with a B minus, and I'm gonna show y'all the same thing. It's really the same thing. Uh, we'll go 64-36 uh, shape right here. And then I'm going to show y'all what it is. Forget about the F, man. The F don't mean anything at all. But this is the, this is the jump shot right here. Justin wins low base. Tari Eason is uh, release one. Shea Julius Alexander is release two. This is for people with a... Uh, let me put it back over there and make sure it don't go up. Yeah, as long as you got an 83... Uh, uh, a 68 three ball, you good with this one. That's all you got to do is have a 68 three ball. We're going to do it with uh, 60. This blend, you can do it 66, 34, Shea. Or you, if you want it to be um, a little bit different, you can do, if you want to be a little bit more above the head, you can do 66 Shea and 34 Eason. Um, and it's going to be a little bit a little bit slower. And maybe that's what a lot of people like. Me, I'm gonna, we gonna, I like it oh, I like it this way, 66 Eason. And uh and 34 shake and I'm gonna show y'all why in a second because like I said he lets it go a little bit faster he doesn't jump as high and like you don't have to worry about the defensive immunity you don't have to worry about the time and impact because uh with those I mean bro I'm, I'm about to show y'all in a second man I really used to think the time and impact was like was like the end all be all for these jump shots bro and it's just not like the time and impact I I, I really don't know what it does like so they keep trying to explain it and I'm just like but bro. Like, it seems like the jump shots with the worst time and impact is the greenness. So like here, like, like see how I changed it right there? And it's right, you let it go right in front of his head. It's a little bit more in front of his head. It just depends on how you want it to be. The uh, Like, that's how I like mine. I, I know I was late on that one. 
that's how I like mine. I like it. I like it. Like as soon as it, you see what I'm saying. As soon as it hits his, it's gonna be faster now. But as soon as it hits his forehead, that's when you want to let it go. Boom. There you go. All right. I'm early on that. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Give me a second. Here we go. Pump fake. Boom. There we go. I don't know what's going on with this because like on those last ones, it's almost like I was shooting a moving jump shot, jump shot because he was moving or, or whatever. But that's how you do it right there, man. As soon as, like one of them, if you do 66 towards Shea and 34 toward Easton, it'll be above his head. It depends on where you want it. I prefer it to be right in front of like when it hits his forehead uh, right there. And I got it on very early too. So uh, I got a 66 Easton and, uh, and Shea a little bit lower. But... If you do it the other way, it'll give you a little bit more time to be able to read it and stuff like that. Because if you don't like a super fast jump shot, and I definitely understand why you wouldn't like a super fast jump shot on this game right here. Because man, look, some of those, like right there, right, there's there's no way for me to read that that was gonna be the super fast one, right? So like, that's that that's one reason that you would, um, but we can still hit it. That's one reason that you would put it more towards Shea or, or even put it on like a, a early release or a late release or whatever like that. Because as he springs up, sometimes you just cannot tell. So like the other way, it'll give you a little bit more time. But for me, I ain't gonna lie, man. I be trying to get the jump shot off, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's what I try to do. I try to get it up out of there. So I just try to put it like as soon as it, as soon as it goes up over his head or as soon as it hits here, you know, you just let it go. But you got a lot of leeway with it. So you can even go back towards Shea quite a bit like if you wanted to be a little bit more above his head, you can go back towards Shea just a little bit and it's gonna put it exactly where you want it to be. Or uh, you could always, another thing you can do is you can change your jump shot timer. So if you change the late, uh, not, not not late, but if you change the early or late or, or whatever, very late or whatever, then it's gonna be, you'll be able to see it a lot better. But like I said, me, I'm hard headed, bro. So me being hard headed, I got it at the fastest place with the fastest jump shot with the fastest part of the queue, man. And um, I knew I was gonna miss that one, bro. I knew I was there. I thought I was late. That's the only thing about, about having the jump shot on very early. So like maybe y'all wanna put it on early or whatever, but to me, I, I'm gonna keep shooting on very early because I know out here, I know out here I don't have Claymore and I, I don't got stuff like that. And y'all know I don't shoot off the dribble. So like, I'm this is this is what I do right here. I catch the ball and then I just I catch ball, shoot ball. That's what I do. So that's how I do it. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Uh, is the jump shot helpful for you? I know a lot of people with low jump shot ratings were looking for something that's good. And uh, this is it right here. Like I said, y'all haven't seen me miss very many of these. And uh, like I said, it's a brand new one. It's gonna get it done for you. And uh, y'all will see me use it tomorrow in competition. But anyway, I knew I had broke my back on that. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. These are my weak points. Let me know, tell me what's y'all weakest spot to shoot from on the court, right? That spot right there is my weakest spot. I can't tell because I can't tell like when the ball gets where I want it to be. So it's always 50-50, but like right here, you know what I'm saying, on, on them sides is cash and up to the, uh, up to here is, is cash, man. But anyway, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Let me know if it's cash for you. Comment new down there, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys,